Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. The 2020 Libertads are here. Let's explore. Yes, that's right. The 2020 Silver Libertads, at least in my possession, I believe I'm the second person in the community, Julian Bullion being the first to show the 2020 Silver Libertads. We actually got them from the same person. I'll tell you a little story behind it. Very, very fascinating indeed, as these are not available yet from Atmex or any other bullion dealer yet. Rumor is, is that they will be available next week. Um, we shall see. That's September the 30th. But, uh, you know, one never knows. There's been a lot going on this year. And, of course, as you know, the Libertads typically do not come out until later in the year. But I was very fortunate to be able to obtain two of these from uh, the same source that uh, Julian Bullion did. I'm going to post a, a link to Julian Bullion's uh, video below because <clears throat> he got them in capsules as well. And I did uh, <clears throat> talk to the gentleman who uh, provided these a bit. Mech Stew is what he goes by on YouTube. And uh, essentially, he is an uh, expat who has uh, spent a lot of time in Mexico. And he's an American citizen but has uh, spends a lot of time there. And he has an account at a bank that is turns out to be one of the uh, big distributors of the Mexican Libertads. And um, if you are a member of that bank in good standing that has a pretty healthy account with them, well, you can get these Libertads. And this gentleman has been collecting and accumulating Libertads for quite some time and was able to procure a pride of, uh, quite a, a few of these. And uh, But they do not come in capsules, as is usually the case with Libertads. And so when I saw this on Julian Bullion's video, I was very curious about that, uh, that they came in capsules. And so uh, that was uh, very cool that he included those for these, um, as they are the same diameter as the, the eagles, the uh, silver eagles that we come to know and love. But the one thing about Mexican silver that I think is very special is Mexico. This mint uh, was, uh, was, has been in production at the oldest mint in the Western Hemisphere, and uh, it is silver is is a metal that is a, a quite abundant in Mexico, and uh, so when you think of silver, you know usually all most of the silver that is uh, that is out there, um, you know from Latin America and Mexico, and there's something you know about the the Silver Mountain. Well, there's two Silver Mountain mountains on this particular piece, but this is the 2020 Silver Libertad. And I was told by um, Mexdu that uh, they have actually been producing these for a while and obviously available first to Mexicans. And he thinks that likely uh, these will become available more so to Mexicans uh, this year. So there may not be as many available to the rest of the world or to the U.S. Um, we shall see. But uh, I know this is one coin, especially considering what kind of year we've had here around the world, and considering how special silver is, um, this is another one of those coins that I feel very blessed to have and to be able to procure. Uh, but uh, the, the thing about this coin, which is quite interesting and special, is that um, you know these being produced, um, even though mines have been shut down. So who knows if this silver was uh, procured from mining that occurred in 2019, I don't know. But nonetheless, it is fascinating and uh, very cool to have uh, Libertads from the year 2020. My guess is Libertads will be available soon from Atmex and other major dealers out there in gold as well. Uh, but uh, there's something about silver from Mexico that I think is, uh, is quite unique and different. Now these, he was telling me also about these particular pieces. He has two different variations of these. It's very hard to see here with these two. But I'm gonna actually take one out of the capsule and show you 
um, how different it is uh, from prior years because there is a little bit of a difference. Uh, I did test these um, just, you know, just to uh, weigh and test, and they do weigh and test, obviously, as most Mexican silver uh, does. Um, but you can almost tell by looking at it that, you know, it's genuine. But there's something a little bit different about these if you compare it to older Libertads. And it's a little difficult to see here. But if you look closely, the one on the the older one that's 10 years older has a bit of a deeper strike to it. The features are slightly more pronounced on the uh, on the angel there. Uh, Lady Libertad, as she is called. And the mountains even have the details a bit more pronounced. A little bit of a slightly weaker strike on this. Um, uh, almost maybe even an adjustment strike. Um, he feels that perhaps maybe it might be an adjustment strike error, which typically these types of things, if there's an adjustment strike error, uh, they usually discard those, but it would have to be uh, uh, one of those, a weak enough strike where literally you don't see some of the features on the coins. Um, but in this case, obviously, the features have all come through. It's just a slightly weaker strike. That is not uncommon from year to year, but is not typically very common within a given year. And he says that he has noticed on, on a good number of these that they do have more of the fuller strike that you see on the 2010 side um, here than on the, on, the, on the other side. Let's take a look at the reverse and see if we can notice. There's not a whole lot of difference here on the reverse. Uh, but uh, the Mexican Mint does a great job in striking their coins. And uh, to the untrained eye, you really wouldn't be able to tell much difference between the, uh, the 2020 and 2010 or other years. With American Silver Eagle, there's been a lot of differences um, over the years in terms of the weight of the strikes and the like. That is something that is fairly common. Not only that, but also inconsistencies with frosting. You see that a lot on on the American Silver Eagle, especially when they're more heavily frosted. These have sort of a matte frosting finish on them, and there's not a whole lot of difference between 2020 and 2010, but I have seen other years where you have, where there is more of a um, inconsistency between the finishes from year to year. Here you can see, for example, the 2015 here has a much heavier, thicker frost than here on the 2020. And, uh, so that kind of thing is common to see. And of course, again, how pronounced the features are is another aspect that you may see differ from year to year as they produce these at the Mexican Mint and also um, at the United States Mint. And now one thing about that that is a pet peeve of mine with, with uh, the Silver Eagles is they tend to have this finning, sort of that uh, high, a uh, rim that overflows above the metal from the Silver Eagles. They do a really poor job that, and of course, off-centered stri off strikes for the Eagles. The Mexican Mint does a much better job of that for their bullion coins. And really, the finishes are consistent. The strikes are consistent. But on this 2020 here, it does appear, uh, to me at least, that it's a slightly weaker strike or the features aren't as pronounced. Maybe a weaker strike, so it may not even be an adjustment strike error per se, uh, because there's really no error on this. It's just uh, uh, lacking the depth that you would see, and it's only a, a, upon a really close inspection. Now, um, one other thing you'll notice um, and where your eye would gravitate is towards the, the breast, the boobicle. You know, if you look on the boobicle there, here in the 2010, it is sans nipple. There is no, well, it's a very faint, it is an inverted nipple. There's not a whole lot of nipple action going on on that one. Whereas here in the 2020, you can see a, a bigger nipple there, okay? And it almost looks like the nipple has been pressed into the booby, and uh, it's kind of flat there, you can see there. So that is a pretty big difference, but of course, that's where our eyes gravitate fully. And there's no not much cleavage to speak of on this one, where it's a little bit more pronounced on this one. So that is a fascinating difference there. And you look back here, here's another 2015. Let's take a look here. Um, 
It's the case with all the 2015s. I don't really don't have a whole lot of these newer Libertads because I'm more of a fan of the earlier ones. But, uh, but yeah, you can see a clear difference there. All right. 2015 and then 2020. Sort of that sunken nipple booby. All right. Very good. All right. So there it is. The 2020 Mexican Libertad is here. And I want to thank um, uh, Mex Stew for the uh, providing these to me. He is not, <clears throat> he's not a dealer. I thought he was at first when he contacted me. But we worked out a deal. But he typically doesn't sell to um, the public. And, and I think we're close enough now to them being available uh, to everybody from Bullion Dealers that uh, you'll start seeing these very, very soon for sure. So there you go. The 2020 Mexican Libertad. A multitude of gratitude to Mex Do and to all of you for taking the time to watch. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, certainly post them in the comment section below. And uh, I want to encourage you to, yes, to thumb up this video, please. Helps get the word out there to the algorithm. A lot of activity will certainly help get the word out there. Yes, indeed, about the detail of the 2020 Mexican Libertads. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.